Good morning, everybody. First of all, I want to show you my succulent that is so beautiful. I just cannot control myself. I need to show you this. Look how beautiful it is. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at this. And this is, I cut it not a long ago. I cut them all to propagate them. And they're all so beautiful. And you can see right over here. Let's see if we can find one over here. When I cut it, you see that I cut it there. I cut it all. I always do. Is, look at this. Here's one more cut. You can see that. The cut there. So what you do, just pinch them a little tiny bit like this. And it's not, um, this is not for uh, propagating. This is not to produce more or anything. Uh, it's to getting healthy and strong. Okay? So you still and grow, start grow, stop growing in the tops. What the plant does is start grow, stop growing too much and gets healthy. Eventually it will be growing because this is getting taller and taller. You're not going to start the plant from producing more stems and getting uh, beautiful, strong leaves. All you do is uh, to get the plant healthy, okay? And that's what I do because I don't want it to just go out of control and hang all over. I want it to be healthy and then can hang over. And this works very good. This works for you, for everybody. But make sure when you do this, it's not raining season, okay? Because the succulents don't like that. It has to be in uh, fall or maybe between the winter or something, not in summer, okay? When you have rain or anything. Okay, I just want to show you that. But I would like to talk about today is about um, watering. Watering your desert roses and watering your succulents, how important it is during summer, okay? During summer, Desert rosas like to be watered once a week. Means if you plant, your desert rosas are stabilized already. They've been in the pot for a year or so, uh, and they're good. So you use in the right soil. There is this stuff over here. You see that this stuff? I have this in the bottom because that will help help the uh, draining. But look, if you using this, okay? You don't have problems, okay? Water it once a week, soak it in once a week. It's very, very important, okay? And it doesn't rain by the next week. You need to water your desert roses. And the same thing with your succulents. If you use them, what I'm using, it should be all good, okay? So what you guys are supposed to be using, and you are not near to my location, this is what you're supposed to be using, okay? This is it, okay? And it's available at Los Huerosa, Los, and it's made by all Castle. What is the name? What is the name? I saw it somewhere. Anyway, old castle, you see? This is it. This is the product that uh, you're using. And I know some of you having trouble finding it. Because I'm um, according to Ron from Old Castle, the, they had two machines broke. So that's the reason you cannot find it. But they're supposed to be a loss everywhere for you. And I talked to him last week and uh, he's gonna stop by here and we're gonna discuss that because it's very important that when I tell you to use something, the best for the plants is available. And you use 70% of this, okay? 70% of this and 30% of the uh, party mix uh, by Loss. It's a Loss brand, Stay Green, S-T-A Green. And this is this is set, it's available at Loss. They have two sizes bags. They have a size a bag for $6 and something and they have a huge bag for $9. And it's very, very good stuff, okay? So this is what they have, you see? Nice, it's nice, this is not hard, you see this? Nice, nice, it has a lot of stuff, but you still need to apply, you still need to apply, when you get a bag of that, okay, a bag of that, and use eight containers to three contain, no, seven containers, excuse me, seven containers, seven containers of this to, uh, seven containers of this to three of these, okay and you mix the whole bag of this okay or you use only excuse me i'm totally messed up anyway 70 to 30 70 to 30 okay that's what you use also don't forget to use the asmo code that you you put a cup in the mix and then you can also sprinkle a little cinnamon you don't have to but i do i sprinkle a little cinnamon in my soils why? Because keeps the soil healthy and keeps the soil stop from getting fungus, okay, and colors root, root grow like hormone and keep insects away for sure. 
because all the honey honey keepers in Florida they buy this ha, this uh, cinnamon by pounds they use it for their beekeepers okay buy an uh, eBay and they buy like 10 pounds 20 pounds at a time and what they do they go to their uh, beekeeps boxes and they spray it just like this they spray around and what I've been told works real good to keep all the insects away from your plants okay and also please don't forget to use a cup Epsom salt okay and send the Epsom salt in a cup or the asthma oil. I use the heros because it's, it's a uh, for uh, professional growers only but you can use this it's similar it's high in nitrogen that's what the plants like okay and also you be surprised what a difference the absence salt make in the plants within a week you see the results but make sure you don't burn your plants because the absence salt will burn your plants and you don't know how to use it so what you do oops what you do let me see a little baby over here let's see a little baby over here that is open okay how about this one how about this one which one we're gonna use let's use this baby over here. you see this one over here make sure you use three tablespoons for a gallon of water okay so you're gonna use for example five bucket the standard size five gallon bucket you put uh 15 15 teaspoons in there uh no uh yeah 15 15 teaspoons of absent salt mix it very well and then you apply it to your plants if you want to use it just a straight make sure you put it around here make sure you put it around here okay and water the plant real good okay or also you can do this okay you can do this and put it right there and cover it up and then water the plant water the plant don't water it too much because and then this dissolves and goes out so you just water it maybe halfway wet and uh, that's it and that helps a lot your plants so anyway i was uh, cleaning the plants at my house uh, a couple days ago and this is what i'm talking about okay this is what i'm going to show you i'm talking about uh this okay i was <laughs> uh this is what i was talking about okay this is what i keep telling people this is a pimas and perlite okay we can play eh, eh, or we can play boop, okay whatever you want want to play we can play and this ball will roll this is pimas and perlite together okay do you really want this in your plants okay no i don't think so i don't want it in my plants works for big growers and professional people sometimes not for me because i'm not a big grower i just grow my desert roses and all that but this is what i'm talking about this is a root holding over here you see that it's a root that is stuck in there i cannot get out yesterday i take the plant out and i'm gonna repair it in the right soil pimas and perlite dries like a rock it's very lightweight but rise like, rise like a rock you need to stay away from that pimas is not good okay so what you do um now use this uh will work for growers because they have sprinkle system professional they will drop the water for less 45 minutes slowly into this and will get it wet but you go with the hose and what are you plan the plant will not get wet this one but this over here will it's heavy we have a little rain last night and you can see how how heavy this is and wet well this takes us for example this will take uh says two minutes to water okay but this will take hours the water will not go through this the water will go like this like this and like this okay so keep that in mind oh you poor little baby oh you poor little baby i need to take left up he fell down i don't know how maybe the this gate will push him i think the gate will push you huh baby oh good so anyway um this is what um they have in the stores like walmart target for uh sulfur okay it's crazy because sulfur in epsom salt you don't pay more than a dollar for a pound i'm telling you more than a dollar for a pound i can get 50 pounds back of sulfur if there is high nitrogen and um for maybe i think it's maybe ten dollars or fifteen dollars so this stuff is very inexpensive the same thing as the apple salt i don't have it back i forgot 
But if you're looking for sulfur, this is what you're gonna find. And what this is, this is one of these cups, they process it and put a little color, okay? They process this thing, this is heavier than this. So it's about this amount. I pay like maybe 50 cents. So what it is, they process and they put, they put dyed color. Oh, come on, open up. <clears throat> I cannot open it. Well, well, I got it. So this is what it is, you see that? This is, this is, this is what it is. This is crazy. This, you don't need this. It's not need for your plants. They make it fancy looking for you, but this is not worth $16, $17. That's how much it is. You don't need this, okay? You don't need this. So back in the days, they used it in our country, uh, the uh, Epsom salt for the big growers, okay? So let's stick with the Epsom salt. The Epsom salt will work miracles. And anywhere you buy, it says in the back for plants. So anyway, I'm gonna tell you a quick, oh, I forgot this. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. This is what I make, uh, this is what I make. Oh, by the way, I do have charts on there, okay? If you don't think I do, but I do. Uh, this, is a, this is an apron, this is not a dress, okay? Because I'm too old to be wearing this, but it's an apron. Okay, this is what I make. These uh, little snails, you get them in the, in the creeks over here, and the shells. Uh, they have snails, the birds take them out of the creeks and eat a snail and drop the drop these shells outside the creek. So you're gonna pick them up by hundreds, by bags, whatever you want. So I made this little cute thing from maybe uh, 50 cents of twine. And you can hang it in Florida, of course. <laughs> you can hang it in anywhere. You see this? It's a cute, cute, cute idea. You can make a lot of stuff from nothing. From nothing. Anyway, um, what I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you a story, very quick. Okay, when I come to this country four years ago, of course, I didn't speak that much English at all. I said, hi, bye, yes, no. <laughs> but I was determined to learn the language. And I said, I'm gonna learn the language. I don't care what anybody say, I'm going to. I was like determined. So anyway, uh, the first thing I did after two weeks, I went to uh, drive myself to Burger King or McDonald's, I don't remember. And I went to the window and I went to Burger. Can you imagine that? So I say, burger. And she goes, uh, I guess she asked me, what do you want in? I say again, burger. And she asked me, I guess, I say a burger. Okay, so I went to the window and pay, I don't remember, like a dollar something. And then she gave me a burger. What she put in? Everything. Was delicious, but when you determine to do something, you can do it. It's not impossible. Bye-bye, until next time from Maria's Garden. Bye-bye.